Right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Monday morning. It's about a uh, quarter to seven. I've been uh, just laying here. I don't want to move because everything is uh, so wet. I move and I get so don't. I don't know how well it's coming up on the phone, but oh, that's all. Oh, yeah, it all falls. I don't want to do it again. It's just everything's wet. Um, half decent night's sleep. You know the usual. No complaints. Oh, I'm gonna lay here. There you go. That's a good shot. Wetness. Um. Everything's wet. Wait for the sun to come out and dry everything out, and then I hit the road and get moving. All right, let me shut up. I'm gonna to try to get a video posted. I got it made, but across the canal where I get some better reception. It makes no sense to this dumb kid from Philadelphia. Hell, I get reception two feet to the right, but not here. It's just crazy. This drives me nuts. This phone. Oh, really? Went down to 54 last night. Plus being wet, it got a little chill. All right, let me shut up. All right, guys, good morning. It's at 10 o'clock uh, on the trail. A little late start. We just had to dry everything out. The sun didn't uh, come over the trees until uh, a little after 8, and then we took our time. Um, we were going to hit a gas station coming up here in a mile, but it's a mile of trail, so we just filled up on water, and now we're going to skip the gas station today. We, I had Kool-Aid anyway. I think uh, he had lemonade. So uh, um, my beef free uh, my catadine beef free is... Uh, finally starting to do what uh, some people online were complaining about when I was researching it. It's uh, it's filtering extremely slow and I've kept up on cleaning it. Um, it happened the other day after I used river water, which was real silty. Uh, so I cleaned it out a couple times. I held it under a waterfall as it was coming over, let it clean everything out, but it's still going pretty slow. So I got frustrated with it after I've been busting this guy's stones because he has a Sawyer and I told him about how you lose the uh, rings and then he lost the ring, <laughs> but he had a spare. But so after making fun of him, now my catting's doing what uh, what I read it could do. Um, so it's almost time for a whole new water purification system because my bag's got numerous holes in it now. So it's squirting. Even after I filter it, I still hit it with the drops because I have uh, unfiltered water dripping into the bottles as I'm filtering it. So anyway, I got frustrated with it and just held my bottles under the waterfall. And then I hit it with the uh, Aquamere drop. So I drank a bottle. We'll see. I don't know how that works with like getting water on the mouth and stuff. So I just, I wiped it down with my shirt <laughs> and called it a day. Um, drank one bottle. I have uh, four full liters on me. Uh, the, the last For the last two days, we could access water at the lock. So I'm hoping that holds up today. Because after this town, I don't think we hit anything else for a solid uh, 15 to 20 miles. Um, today's goal is 15 miles. So we'll see. I uh, haven't been able to do it yet. Today's the fourth day back out, but see what happens. Um, I did put a video together last night. I was able to upload it on KindMaster and everything, but with the service here, I tried to post it to YouTube, upload it to YouTube, and I waited like 25 minutes and it was, wasn't even at 1% yet. So that's a no-go. Um, so the masks are going to have to wait. I's sorry. But uh, how's, how's my haircut look? I, uh, I bought clippers a couple weeks ago. You know, cheap clippers for like beard clippers are less than 20 bucks. So it was either I go get a haircut, you know, smelling and stinking, or I just get clippers. So I did it myself. Came out good. I'm getting a little old for this, but I'm going to let it go for at least, uh, at least the rest of the trail. Maybe my next adventure too and see how long my hair can get. But uh, I blab about enough. I'm actually, um, I talked about this before, but I'm going to try to do some filming without talking as much. Just get more, uh, more shots of what I'm seeing and what I'm doing. Less than me bumping my gums. That's the plan. We'll see how well it holds up. Three point three miles in. Just took a little break. Uh, I took my compression shorts off this morning because I've been getting a little bit of a. Uh, heat rash on my backside and then I noticed that uh, without the compression shorts on them my fatness and my thighs are going to probably chafe up so I uh, lubed up with some body glide and I'm back on the go Daniel's back there still he'll catch up on the bike I'm going to try to uh, take some more breaks today shorter breaks like every three to four miles 
See what happens. I always have good plans. They always fall apart. All right, good evening, everybody. It's a Monday evening, a uh, quiet day on the uh, on the microphone here. It's uh, 6.25. Um, I think we did uh, not much today at all. Uh, a little shy of eight miles. We came across this, um, uh, like, museum here and, uh, you know, resource center, which has been closed. But it's been a great stop because we've been, the building's closed. So we've been just uh, for hours now since, like, we had 1.30 or something. Uh, just sitting out there in the front, relaxing. They got electricity here. They have a bathroom here. Um, they got water fountain here, so it's been great. Good stop. So uh, we just called it a day because um, I'm getting a video out for you guys right now. For you guys, like people care. <laughs> but I'm putting a video out now. It says I have 5G here, but I made the video as short as possible. It's 45 minutes. A lot of me talking because I haven't been on in a while. But uh and it's been, it's so far, it's taken uh, uh, four hours and I still got like two and a half left. So, but it's going and it's going to get done. So I'll get a video out here tonight and then a couple more days. Uh, when we hit the border here in a couple days, I'm um, probably going to take a day or two off. I know I just took a lengthy walk, but uh, my knee swollen up a little today. I've been trying to wear the breast brace, sorry, English brace less and less. Um, and I'm probably just pushing a little too much. So. I'm going to keep the uh, brace. I'm going to put the brace back on and just deal with it. It just gets sweaty and uncomfortable. Yeah, whatever. But I've been trying to strengthen my knee without it. But it's not ready for it yet. So I got to, I got to get it back on there. Um, like I said, we got three more days of town. We're going to average. We have to average now, uh, I think, like 15 miles a day. Um, we'll get a, I think we're staying at the Ramada in, uh, uh, in Iowa. So I'm actually going to cross over, even though we're not supposed to cross over for, like, five miles later we're gonna cross over a little early hit the ramada it's in iowa across the mississippi river but uh, i'll you know i'll double back in five miles and do the proper uh, walk on video and all when i hit the trail again but uh he's got he got a room his family got it for him and uh gonna get two uh, queen beds so i can stay with him so there you go so that's nice um this is actually a beautiful area so we're going to stay here for, uh, we actually just read, there's been campsites all along here, like I told you guys, nice, and we just read all the rules and regulations. You're not allowed to camp there unless it's a pay site. We, I didn't know that, but we haven't stayed there, and you're not supposed to camp anywhere else except, you know, uh, designated areas. But uh, we're going to camp right here on this property. We're going to cross the street and then get in the woods. It's a cross-country skiing um, trail, and we're just going to set up shop there in a little bit. But I got a video coming out. And that's it. So I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Beautiful area. It's actually been a beautiful day. Easy day. Um, tomorrow, I'm, I'd like to get up early. Hopefully, my stuff's not that wet. I can roll out early in the morning, get some miles. And I like to get, I like to hit lunch and have, you know, 15 to 20 miles done already. That's perfect. Because then you can kind of just dally around and do what you want to do the rest of the afternoon. I got to start getting some miles in. And, uh, yeah, I'm just babbling a little bit. No, it is water. I can't, actually, I can't tell. It's hard to tell. I think it's water. I, at first, I thought it was a lake on the map, but then I thought, yeah, it's definitely a lake. Beautiful back here. Um, that museum I showed you guys is on the opposite side of the road. We just cut back in the woods here. It's nice pines. It's like a cross-country skiing trail. Surrounded by, uh, I believe, hay fields on both sides. So, I think there's a building down there. Man, it's a tree stand. I see something. Yeah, hey, water.
and the trail stops. What? Probably don't want to be near the water, but for mosquitoes' sake, but there's definitely water. Oh, look at all ducks. Duckies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Head back up to right there where the turn's at and just set up. Pine needles and all, it's nice. Feels a little uh, cooler, but definitely feels cooler back there. It feels a little more wet in the air. So we're trying to avoid some dew. Thinking the pine needles and being surrounded by these trees will help that. I really have no clue what I'm talking about, so. But it's nice back here. I wish the whole trail was like this. It's so soft on your feet. When I was in West Virginia going through uh Cannon State Park and that railroad trail, man, it was great. Pine needles was all bouncy. Yeah. All right, guys, eight o'clock, uh, all set up here. Finally, the other video got posted finally, so everyone can rejoice now that I have another video out. <laughs> but I got the tent all set up. It's uh, beautiful back here. Got the ground sheet out, just the uh, the main, you know, the main body set up again. No fly or nothing. I don't think I'm going to uh, have some dew issues here, so we'll see what happens. But good day, not a lot of miles, but a good day. You know, took it easy. Got some charging done. Uh, ate a lot of tuna and uh, tortillas, but a uh, good day overall. Get up early, hopefully. Uh, see how wet the gear is, and then hopefully I'm on the trail early tomorrow and uh, knock out a 15, maybe, maybe a little more. We'll see what happens. But you know, every time I make a plan, it falls apart. So I just kind of go with it. All right, everybody. I'll see you at one in the morning. morning everybody it's at 6 30 on tuesday morning uh, um average night of sleep you know as usual for me broken four to five hours but uh good good enough um i think it's time for uh besides i it's time for looks like a new water filtering system but uh um i think it's time for a new uh, foam mat also it's like uh not that it was ever like sleeping on a, a blow-up mat but it's uh it's just feeling extremely thin in the center now. So I think it's time. I think my uh, fatness has beat it down. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it just might be because I took that month off and I'm just extra sore that I'm noticing it. But So I'll check it out. But I'm um, actually, my body feels today uh, much better than it has. You can tell I did a shorter day yesterday. But uh, my feet are still not hurting. They're not, uh, like, no blisters. They're not, like, they're just extremely sore. Like, the whole, the whole bone on the bottom is just sore but i wish i still had i started with like a little ball i used to roll my feet on i wish i started with that and i got rid of it i could use that now uh, i got my uh, bug spray um i can use that for a little bit just if i don't press it too hard to uh, dent it but it, i mean I'm, it, I'm i'm fine i just uh, i put some new socks on today so i feel a little fresher i'm gonna get packed up here and hopefully be on the road before i 7 30 get a little early start I like to get some extra miles in early today all right, guys, it's uh, 7.45. Again, slow morning. I'm just, uh, well, with two people, it's different. So I'm still working on finding a patient. I mean, um, when you're out here hiking, you kind of just got to do your own thing. And then, uh, you know, kind of works out where you two end up catching up or whatever. Especially he's on a bike. So I just packed up and rolled. But, uh, you know, I'm still working on finding, like, the balance of, uh, I don't know, you know, just walking with somebody versus doing your own thing and waiting on them or going ahead you know what i mean blah 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 not big deal just uh, little stuff heading over here to grab some uh, toilet paper out of the uh, bathroom hopefully maybe they got some hand sanitizer i'm uh, out of hand sanitizer low on paper um i have enough food for today um i'm low on everything <laughs> i'm leaving here with only two liters of water i'm gonna, just going to resupply at the gas station it's eight miles in uh, so my pack feels nice and light right now, just one. But I'll get another leader over here across the street. Uh, this trip's taking me a... Just, I'm going a little slower than I thought I was going to be, so... Which I should have been prepared for. I'm just running low on stuff. But we're not in the middle of nowhere. Like I said, I'll be passing a gas station in a small town in about eight miles or so. Eight or nine miles, somewhere around there. 
Uh, that's it. I'll be back on the trail here in about uh, 10 minutes. I'll come back and check on everybody, but I'm actually looking forward to getting in the sun right here. Little water fountain right there where Daniel's. I don't know if you see him. I mean, we were going to camp here, but the park rules say no. And then we woke up. There's a guy with a tent over there, car parked and everything. I just, man, I don't know. I can't, you know, like I said before, I'm not worrying about getting in trouble. You're not going to get arrested and, you know, beat up or whatever for camping. But I don't want to be bothered and told to move. And that's just a risk, I think. Well, it's, not, it's a lot easier for me to move now, too, with my tent. Not that my other tent was hard. They both actually take my old tent and this tent I can have set up in, like, under two minutes easily. Um, this one just involves poles or the other one was a trek and pulling stakes. Like, so, um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But here, they got a nice bathroom here. I'm going to grab some toilet paper out of there. Thank you for allowing me to steal some toilet paper from your bathroom. <laughs> but, yeah, we were going to camp right out here in the park, but it says no parking. I mean, no camping and only in designated areas, and you got to pay. And this is in a designated spot. And I'm not paying to camp when I can camp anywhere. So, But it just shows you can you can pull it off. <laughs> but I know my luck. I would set up and 10 minutes after I finished setting up, uh, they would be like, go, you got to go. All right, 10 after 8 on the trail. Uh, 0 0.41 miles in. So a little earlier start, about two hours ahead of yesterday. So looking good. Got to do at least 15 miles today. That way we got to do... Uh, 15 Wednesday and then 15 Thursday and we'll be in town. Uh, what's the town we're going to? We're hitting Iowa. Uh, Davenport? Bettendorf. 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 So we actually got to cut off the trail a little earlier, but we'll be crossing the Mississippi and uh, hitting there. All four cities are right there. It's like Rock Island, Moline, Davenport, Bettendorf. They're all four next to each other. Uh, I'm walking and I can see my reflection in my my pack doesn't look even it's already bothering me but i'm not gonna stop and fix it until my first break at three miles i'm gonna try to take a short breaks every day three miles today see how it works out i just switch it up every day i don't get really i gotta get back into a good rhythm Across the bridge now we're on that this side of the canal the canal to our left now for the remainder of this trip about 45 miles or so left till we hit the uh the border mississippi river corn runs america All right, guys, 8.37 miles in. Just hit the road here. The trail is right there. Um, we got to branch off, uh, branch off a mile down to uh, Mineral, Mineral, Illinois. And I hit a little gas station. But uh, warming up, feeling good. Listen to uh, the John freaking Mirror podcast. And I'm hiking, listening to other hikers talk about hiking. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad I just checked my map because this town, Mineral only has uh, like a cafe or something i'm glad i looked it's the next town we still got another like four miles to go uh they have a shell gas station so back on the trail 
glad I checked before we wasted a trip in there. And uh, get up there and hit the show. I think the next, I forget the name of the town, but it's not minerals this way. I'm glad I checked. All right, guys, we're uh, nine miles in. It's time for a break. We've been sticking every three miles. Um, now I'm only leaving camp with two liters of water because I thought I was hitting a gas station at nine miles. No, I'm not. I got another four miles to go, so I got a half a liter left. I mean, I'm going to be fine, but I might be a little thirsty near the end. But I found a little spot in the shade, which is gold out here. A little break. All right, guys, 10.78 miles in. I had to take a unplanned break. This is, um, this has happened my first two days out. And now today, yesterday didn't happen because we stopped short of 10 miles. But right when I get to 10 miles, man, I just get extremely, uh, <laughs> like nauseous of the first. And then I get like weak. I start shaking. I start sweating a lot. And I don't know what it is, but I just sat down and ate everything. My bag's empty. I just shoveled everything in my throat. We're still only, we got about two miles to go to the gas station. They got a subway there. I'm so excited, but uh, I almost had a fluid. I got a couple of sips left. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know if that I eat so much when I was stationary for a month. I'm messing up my blood sugar or something. I don't know. Maybe I became a diabetic. I mean, I really don't know. But uh, I just extremely weak, nauseous, and hot. So maybe not enough fluid. I'm soaked, so I'm sweating. So that's a good sign, but. I feel better now that I stopped and I uh, ate, so. All right, I was sitting right next to a little pumpkin growing. Uh, I, used to, I used to like uh, planting and growing pumpkins when I was up the mountains. I would fertilize them myself. That way, just in case there wasn't bees, I'd take the, uh, the male flower and, you know, poke it in the female flower when it was open. It only opens for like a day or something, I think. I forget all the details, but. Um, all right, I feel better. That was quick. Uh, just like a five-minute break, I swallowed... A chicken pouch, or two chicken pouches, a tortilla, so uh, probably around 210 calories, and then I squirted the rest of the peanut butter I had in my mouth. So I probably had around 300 calories. I uh, drank a little, the rest of my fluid. I had to steal a, quarter, a little quarter of a liter off of uh, Daniel. He still has a liter and a half. Much easier to carry wood on a bike, but I don't know what that's about. Um, I mean, it, and it, it feels, I mean... I don't know what I'm really talking about, but it, it's like my blood, my sugar level or something's low. And I think I'm it's telling you, it's, it's got to be something to do because I ate like a freaking hog, a hog that was nine years old swallowing candies and crap. So uh, it's, that's every day of this hike except yesterday. And yesterday it's because I stopped early. But anyway, I'm back on it. 10.78 miles. Got another, uh, we'll call it a mile and a half to get to the road. And then uh, from there... We got to go in the town a mile off trail. Um, they got a subway there, so I'm super excited. All right, the sun went in a little bit. The shade feels much better, man. It's I don't know what's going on with them uh, little walls I hit or whatever, but, like, I was feeling great. Same thing the other day, and I, it's just like the other day, I literally just got done saying, like, man, I feel like we can definitely, you know, put some more miles in today after we hit the gas station. Because after the gas station, we come by the trail, we only got to do, like, two more, two, three more miles to hit 15. I'm like, I'm feeling good. And then it was just like, boom, a little nausea. And then I start, you know, oh, I spit my chewing tobacco out when I'm not feeling good. Disgusting, I know. And then, uh, quickly, I mean, I had trouble opening up the, uh, my chicken pouch. I almost had to ask him for help. I'm like, really? Like, stop with the chicken pouch. Open it. So I don't know what that is, but super weak. Um, yeah, enough talking about it, but I just, uh, it's a concern. It's on the back of my mind, especially now that it's been, uh, you know, three out of the last four days. And yesterday we just stopped short. I'm sure I would have hit it too. And it's always happened right around 10 miles, right around this time in the afternoon. And it's always, it uh, has been sunny. Like it's not hot, it's 80, but it's hot. I mean, the sun's big on you. So it feels much, much hotter than 80 degrees right now. I do have an umbrella I could be using. I'm not, because I'm a dummy. But yeah, but it's beautiful out here. We got about another mile and a half to go. Beat the gas station, the road's up there. So you probably can't see it from here on the phone, but coming up, turn down into town.
Yeah. It does feel good sometimes when they drive by. All right, highway walking now to uh, Shell Station, which has a subway. Praise the Lord. There's really no better feeling than seeing a gas station when you're out of food and water. It's great. All right, guys, it's at 10 after two. We are right around uh, 13 miles in total. Just got back on the trail from the uh, gas station. Quick little $60 spent in a gas station. <laughs> um, it's always like that, but I got a, a foot long Subway sandwich with a steak and cheese. Probably shouldn't have went with the mayo on it option because now I'm walking in this heat, but we'll see how well she holds up. Only want to do about another three miles to get to the next lock house and then uh, probably set up shop for the night got uh three liters of good fluids on me and a soda for a treat tonight with my uh sandwich um i was out of food so i had to buy like some trail mix some almonds a couple cliff bars five hour energy it just gets expensive when you do that garbage at a gas station wait we're very expensive i mean sixty dollars is uh you know it's an easy two weeks of food if i do it at the walmart or a dollar store hiking food but you know, I can't, you, you got to balance it out. I can't, uh, can't always carry two weeks of food, although I have done it, but not all the time. So, it, it, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just in case anybody's wondering if you're still hearing the noise from my phone, it's because I'm still filming with this broken phone. <laughs> uh, next month, I'm getting a new phone. I don't care what happens. I have to. It's just, I can barely see when I'm even filming anymore takes me an hour to type a text message i can barely see so uh i don't care unless something catastrophic happens with one of my main pieces of gear again i will have a new phone next month it's nice i know it is a nice view here actually All right, back to talking. Sorry, I uh, got distracted. It was a nice view back there. Um, yeah, it's just that uh, my screen is so... Uh, this horrible case on top of the broken phone. You guys heard it for, I don't know, two months now, so I'll just shut up. But it's just almost... Some, like, right now when I'm looking, like, it's just... Everything's blurry. It's hard to see. I mean, it takes me so long to type a text message. And, and uh, you know, I don't know if I'm taking good pictures or not. So it's time. Plus, that noise drives me nuts. Daniel says he doesn't even hear it when he watches, but I hear it. I don't know if it's the phone. Every time I adjust the camera, it's like, <clears throat> I've already been over this, so. All right. Uh, feeling much better this afternoon. Feels good. It's the most miles I've done now since we've been back at it. Good afternoon, guys. And I got a nice sandwich to eat this evening with a soda, a sun-kissed strawberry lemonade, which, uh, is delicious in case anyone out there has uh, the taste like I do. Like basically, if you and you know a twelve-year-old child, that's that's pretty much my uh, palate. Um, what else? Oh, I took my compression shorts off the other day. I told you guys, I'm loving it. Like I feel so much, uh, I don't know, lighter, airier. But I wouldn't do that if I was going to be bushwhacking her in there. But walking these trails, I'm I'm pretty secure with the ticks. Uh, be you know, camping hasn't been uh, too bad, so. Uh, it's been nice not having the compression shorts on, but I am exposed for ticks, so everything has pros and cons. All right, guys, 3.30. Um, got another mile and a half to go till we get to Lock House 23, and that's where we're looking at, hopefully setting up camp somewhere up there. Um, that'll be uh, 17 miles for the day, 15 miles of trail walking, two miles off trail for that gas station. Just stopping at a break on their uh, bridge. It's no shade, so the bridge was a blessing. Had a uh, half my Subway sandwich with some delicious hot mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, feel a little sluggish now, but I'm feeling good. Much better than that when I hit that wall earlier today. 
All right, four o'clock. We're at uh, Lock House 23. And, uh, oh, that stinks. I'm not drawing water from there. That's a shitty part of this because I need water. I can smell the smell coming off of that. Is that, I mean, I guess I could, I don't know. Probably not the best idea, but I need water because uh, I got, like I say, I got two liters on me now. We got a long uh, hike tomorrow before we hit a town anywhere, so. We're trying not to hit the gas station tomorrow because it's, uh, it's actually like a mile and a half off the trail, so we need to get some miles, but Let's see what we got. Another bridge down there. We should be able to access water somewhere. Yeah, definitely not drinking that water. It, uh, if you look where it's coming from, it looks like it's land there. It's so uh, thick with dirt and crap. It's got a definite uh, sewage smell to it. Definitely going to need water, but we're going to, uh, this might, once we get settled in, I'm going to go down. There's a parking lot here, and usually there's a parking lot connected and a restroom. It's a pay camp area, and there's a grill here, so we're, uh, we're supposed to pay to camp here. We're uh, I'm not. I don't know about him, but I can probably speak for him and say we're not. But we'll hang out here all day and then uh, find somewhere to camp at least. It's getting out of the sun now. I think I just walking around my general camp area looking to see if uh, maybe there's somewhere we can tuck in and hide. Because that's definitely a pay site. Um, we're probably not moving though, to be honest with you. So if uh, the ranger comes by looking for uh, fees, I'll stand corrected. I will be paying $10 or whatever it is to camp there for the night because we don't feel like moving unless we find something close by here that we can tuck away in see this grass is already a little too high i don't even like walking in it but oh, it almost looks like land right there that's uh part of the reason all that stuff is uh breaking down and what it causing that smell Let's see if I can access the water maybe up here before it. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'd still be okay. It's just more of a visual thing. I mean, if I can avoid all this, you know, I'd be much better off. But I would definitely filter the water out of the falls if I, if I could. But I don't even think I can access it. Pretty much the same information you guys seen on uh, the CNO canal. All right, guys, 6.30. Um, the bugs are getting real bad, so uh, I set the uh, tent up. Just going to hop in early, listen to a podcast. Uh, Lex Friedman on Joe Rogan tonight is on the agenda. Already got it downloaded. Uh, messed around with the, uh, the fly tonight for the first time. Very easy to put on. You can actually Velcro it to the uh, support poles on the inside and everything. I didn't do that. I just clipped it in the clips, tighten it down. Um, you can have the storm doors out or I've rolled them up on both sides. You can make like a patio out of it so for some shade. You can do a lot of things with it. You can actually set it up on its own. Very good tent. Uh, like I said, you already I heard me say it, a lot of room. Um, you know, three pounds or so. So it's uh, a little on the heavier side. But for all the room, it's a pretty ultra light and very easy to uh, operate. So 